Hi, the name's Maurice Lane. <laughs> You've probably never heard of me, but if you have an interest in musical theatre, you may have seen me perform because I've performed in 22 West End shows, including both Funny Girls, that's the original one with Barbara Streisand at the Prince of Wales, and the Chocolate Factory one with Sheridan Smith, which later transferred to the Savoy Theatre. Also, there was Fiddler on the Roof at Her Majesty's, Billy with Michael Crawford and then Roy Castle, four years in 42nd Street at Drury Lane with Georgia Brown, James Lawrence and, and later Shaney Wallace, Frankie Vaughan oh, and not forgetting Catherine Zeta-Jones. After eight years, I have finally just finished writing my autobiography. It's called Down Memory Lane. <laughs> Clever, eh? Memory Lane? Morris Lane? Now, forget it. Anyway, if I may, I'd like to read you a quote from the lovely Wendy Craig after she'd read it. She said, Morris is a man of many talents. His story is fascinating, amusing, full of warmth and affection, like the man himself. It is also a history of theatre and television during his working life, and reading it filled me with nostalgia for those years between World War II and COVID-19. At the age of nine, I performed in variety with my father, Sandy Lane. When I was 14, I left him to go to London and study at the Corona Academy Musical Theatre School. After graduating, I went to work in every aspect of the entertainment industry, from performing at the windmill, to the London Palladium, television, cabaret, too many films to mention, and not forgetting the 22 West End musicals I've already mentioned. <laughs> I also had my dream come true when I was asked to direct the musical Seven Brides for Seven Brothers for a national tour, which then transferred to the West End at the Theatre Royal Haymarket. I think my life's been both diverse, unusual, and uh, I hope entertaining. If you think it might be your cup of tea, then why not tune in to listen to my podcast, Morris Lane's Memories of Entertainment, with snippets from my 75 years in showbiz, starting hopefully mid-November.